One of the key takeaways that I learned when I first met you, I remember you told me one piece of advice. You said, don't get big too fast. So you said, don't get big too fast. And you know, like I think what you meant by then was, you know, don't lift heavy, don't get injured, you know, because once you get injured, you know, you could get re-injured again. That's gonna affect yeah, your, right. hinder your performance. So don't lift too heavy. And also don't get too heavy because the midsection actually gets heavier. And this question that many people ask me, how do you keep a tight waist? Like, what do you have to say about people that are more concerned with, hey, how do I get my waist smaller? Is there anything they could do? Well, I think don't eat, don't eat a lot of food at once. Don't stretch your gut out. And you know, don't basically don't eat a lot and then do a lot of ab work. Now you've done remarkably well, even at this heavier body weight, you're at like 225, you still have a tiny waist. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. You're holding a lot of your weight in your thighs right now, yeah. I think. Yeah. But basically, you know, what that's the thing is take your time uh, learn to see what you look like to other fo people by take, getting photos taken so you can see yourself from all angles and take your time and do a good job. Yeah. It's hard though, you know, it's hard for somebody, younger guys especially, they want results fast. Mm -hmm. Older, more mature people are more, uh, are, are more intent about going about it more gradually and making progress slowly. But in both cases, you need feedback of your progress yeah. and photos is the best way to get that. But also I think that uh, getting big too fast is actually gonna hurt the physique. Like we've both talked about it, the best we've looked is at the lower weight, not necessarily the higher weight. Actually the higher, higher we got in weight on stage weight and muscle, you know, it kind of just throws off the line. So I think it is like we talked about, it's, it's important just to, you know, make steady, slow improvements rather than go jump 10, 15 pounds in muscle, you know, in five months time or something, you know, because we tend to be asking a lot of questions and sometimes we get asked questions to the wrong people and they have the wrong advice for us. You know, hey, you know, how do I, how do I do better? Oh, well, you gotta get bigger. Hey, how do I go better? You know, well, you gotta lift heavier, put on more muscle and that can lead to injury or ruining your lines and your flow. The main thing is that when you're working out, it, the main thing is focus. This means to concentrate on one thing at a time only. And I was always very strict when I got to the gym like that. I would purposely go at a time when there weren't many people there so I could really concentrate on what I was doing. And I noticed that when I concentrated like that, I could do, I guess some people would call it amazing, but I remember one time, and I was curious. I, was, I did Roman chair sit-ups one time for a half an hour. I was like, well, I think I could do a half an hour, and I did, and I guess oh, it wasn't too bad. So the next day, I did it for an hour. My lower back was a little sore from that, but the next day wasn't too bad, so I did it for an hour and a half. And eventually, then I did two hours the next day, and then two and a half hours, Roman chair sit-up. And, uh, you know, I realized that I could do whatever I set my mind to.